Welcome back. My name is Lucas, and this is my fabulous, wonderful, beautiful wife, Brianna. And we resell on eBay and Poshmark and a few other platforms. But in this video, what we're going to go over are some of our recent sales that we had while we were on vacation. vacation. So we're going to show you what we did. And so to begin, specifically what we did on eBay was we extended our handling time. Our usual handling handling time is one business day, but we changed that to five business days and we did not put our store on vacation mode. And then over on Poshmark, um, what did we do? So on Poshmark, Macari, Kittison, and Tradesy, I didn't send, we just didn't send out any offers. I still shared my closet, um, uh, I guess really just on Poshmark. I still share like once a day. Um, I normally try to share two to three full times of my closet. Um, but I just shared once a day and I did not send out any offers. So here are some of the sales, or not some of them, we're going to go through all of them. The first item that sold was this Toshiba VCR. It sold for $20 plus $25 shipping, which left me with a profit of $13.80, but not really because I bought this at a garage sale. The guy said it worked. I took it home, tested it. I got it to work. It was a little finicky and I sent it out to this lady first and she got it and it didn't wouldn't work for her so she had to return it and it broke on the way home and yes and it broke so we ended up having to list it this time for parts only and it's still in transit so hopefully the person doesn't return it because they didn't read the listing as you will so basically it just recuperated um my money from that but it helped with our overall sales total that's for sure and then uh, the second item, which was kind of crazy because we were in the car and the cha-ching sound went off again and it was for this awesome coach like briefcase bag thing. We sold it for $175 plus $8 shipping. So that left us with a total of a profit of $145.63. That was awesome because we only paid like $5 for it or something. Mm -hmm. yep. the th I think the reason why this wasn't marked up was because it didn't have coach like written yeah. anywhere on it. Yeah, it was on the inside, mm -hmm. just a little tag. But it was a super nice, we put a little, uh, freshened it up a little and sent it out. So hopefully they don't return it. Item, um, this the, the second-ish item was a pair or a Harley Davidson leather skirt. But I don't know if this has been happening to you guys, but these people are sending re offers and then they don't pay. They don't pay. It's like, I don't know, I've had this happen multiple times over the last couple of months. So um, it was going to be a $28 sale. Probably would have been a pretty nice profit because we picked this up for like a dollar, I think, at one of those Play-Dohs. Um, they're like 90% oh, no, clearance. clearance. I don't think I would have picked it up had it been like even $5 because Harley-Davidson stuff is kind of oversaturated. Number three here was this fishing reel, specifically an Abu Sweden Ambassador. S sold for $55 plus $8 shipping. At the end of the day, it left us with a profit of $47.33. So that was pretty sweet. Take that. This was actually um, one of my own personal items. So technically, no. technically, <laughs> no, we just won't. <laughs> we won't talk about what it cost. Item number four that sold for me were these J. Crew. The were like straight vintage jeans. They sold for thirty nine dollars after fees, shipping, all that nonsense. It left us with a profit of twenty dollars and seventy three cents. So, not too bad uh, for for eBay. Those for were eBay. Our eBay sales. Yeah, specifically related to eBay. eBay is always bringing up the rear for our business. All right, so over on Poshmark, this was a full price sale. Uh, it was new with tags, Joey, Mary Lou crop wide leg culottes. Um, so I was very happy before this sale, um, but I was like a little bit nervous just because it sold the day we left. Like we had already left, but we were like two hours into it and I got my notification that, that they sold. So I did go ahead and message the buyer and let them know that it would be about five days before they would be shipping out. Um, she said, that, that's great, thanks for letting her know. So it did end up working out. They have been um, delivered and accepted. My cost of good for these was really good. I found them at a Goodwill. 
um, the new with, they were new with tags. Um, we paid three dollars and forty nine cents for them. So my profit after um, cost of goods and fees was eighty eight fifty one. So I'm really happy with that sale. Now if we could just have that like every day. Yeah. Multiple times a day. <laughs> so the uh, the next item, it was also um, a full price sale. Is a horny toad, cha 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 skirt. Um, made of tinsel. It sold for $36. That was my full asking price. My cost of good was $5.06. So my profit left me at $23.74. So that was also um, a good, good sale. My next one still on Poshmark was this J. Crew Daphne top coat in boiled wool in red, size eight. It sold for $120. Uh, I did have free shipping. Um, with that listing, so my profit came out to be fifty one fifty five. So. Was that a full price? I believe so. I think it was. Um, I just had free shipping. I think like attached to it. Yeah. I had paid up for this. I found this at a um, at a Plato's. It was not on sale at all. I did pay thirty seven dollars. Um, so I I for me I did double my money on higher things that I pay up for. If I just double my money, I'm a happy camper. So that was pretty crazy. Three sales that were just all outright. Like yeah. that never happens. Yeah, I feel like that never happens. Then I mean, obviously you're happy for them, but you like a little bit are like, I hope nothing sells right away because yeah. I don't want, you know, the buyer to be upset that take a little bit longer. I do ship same or next day. So for me, waiting a few days is like anxiety killing because I'm like, oh my goodness, it needs to go out. Um, but this next thing that sold on Poshmark was these AG, the legging ankle distressed um, jean size 26. This was an offer she sent to me. They were listed at $50. She offered me $40. So before I did accept, um, I reached out to her and said, Hey, you know, I were away. It'll be a couple days before they get put in the mail. And she said, that's totally fine. So I went ahead and accepted. I did pay up for these. Um, I did pay $10 and 56 cents. Um, so after uh, fees and cost of good, it left me with twenty one forty four for my profit. The next item are these alambiki. I I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I had never found this is the only item I've found in this brand. Um, when I was flipping through, I did find them at the at the thrift store. Um, just by looking at the tag, I was kind of like, I I think these might be something so I should at least look them up and they were selling anywhere from um, 50 to 75 dollars so I definitely went ahead and picked them up my cost of good was five dollars and 54 cents um, I think I had them listed around 70 dollars uh, someone offered me 55 I gave my whole spiel about being out of town when they'll ship she said that's great so I had a profit on those of 38 46 so we don't care if we can pronounce the name as yeah, long as it sales, brings me sells. Some money. <laughs> Exactly. Um, my next sale were these Nike Golf Tech long pants size 10 dry fit. They were listed for $35. Someone offered me $28. Um, gave my whole spiel. My cost of good was $6.28. I accepted their offer. Left me with a profit of $16.12. We don't always when we pick up Nike, we pick up Nike Golf. For me, anyway, that is basically the only time I will pick it up. But it, it's usually a twenty-five to thirty-five dollar sale for me. And it usually has to be in pretty good condition too. Yeah, yes, definitely. Condition is everything. My next sale were these Lululemon uh, Dance Studio Pant lined. They did have um, a couple small flaws, like the draw cord. It was missing the one of them was missing the Lululemon end. And then on the bottom of one of the pant legs, there was um, some like scuffing um, where they had probably dragged on the floor. Um, I believe I had these listed for about $50, $55. Um, they offered me $45. I got them for $6, so I had a $30 profit. So Lululemon doesn't usually disappoint. Um, I mean, their tanks maybe aren't going to bring in you know that much so I, I do stay away from that but anything else this little lemon and is in really pretty decent condition um, these obviously had a couple flaws but I was still able to get a $30 profit next item were these American Eagle jeggings in a size 2 extra short 
I have these listed at um, $30 and I sent out an offer for 10% off $27 and free shipping. I've kind of started to try that. I usually do 20% off and um, the $4.99 shipping. But for some of this stuff, I've had these jeans for a little while. Um, I had listed them back in May and they hadn't sold. So when someone new liked it, I offered the 10% and free shipping just to see um, if that enticed anybody. Um, and it did. So I had $3.49 into these and after the free shipping and cost of good and other fees, I walked away with $10.66. Uh, I, I don't usually pick up American Eagle unless it's under $4. It does sell. Um, it, I still got a profit. Um, it's not something I look for, but I, I picked it up. I sold it. Uh, my next item is this Ozell Wazi Wool Jacardigan. <laughs> A little mouthful there. This, uh, I had this listed for $50. This is an active brand. It, I have sold it in the past. It's done pretty well. Um, I would have liked to get more for this, but I had listed this back in April and it didn't get a whole ton of interest. Um, so someone offered me $30. I had $5.92 into it. I accepted their offer and I walked away with $18 in profit from that. My next item is a Macari sale. Um, Macari is a hit and miss for me. I Poshmark is my main platform. I cross list over to uh, Macari, Trade Z, and Kitizen for most of my items. I don't have all of my items cross listed over there. That's probably some of the reason that stuff doesn't sell as much over there. It's not as much, but um, I will take the sales when they come. This is a Carbon 38 high rise 7 8 legging in sh in a shine. Um, these I picked up for $6. I think I got these at like a Plato's, um, one of their sales. I had them listed for $65 that they were going anywhere from 60 to 75. Um, and someone offered me $53. And so I, I took that and on Macari there, I do like their, um, their fees a little bit better. They're not, they're not a full 20% that Poshmark takes. So even if even if I wouldn't take 50, I would have taken 53 on Poshmark, but even if I wouldn't have, um, if I can, like when someone offers something a little bit lower, I'm more willing to take it over on Macari because I'm actually still making a little bit more than I would be over on Poshmark. So after my fees and everything, I made $39.86 on those. So that is a good um, brand, Carbon 38. It's um, not like the Carbon that you yeah, find at, at like, Target. Target. That's, yeah, totally different. Um, so I need, yeah, carbon, carbon 38, all one word <laughs> or all one together. Um, so definitely if you find that in the active wear section, pick it up and list it. My next item that sold was a Macari sale. This is a cabbie tank. It was the style 3275. Um, they outright bought it for my, um, price of $35. I had 554 into it. Again, their fees are pretty good. I walked away with twenty four sixty four for that. Um, I do look up my cabbie items before purchasing. Um, we find, I would say, a decent amount of cabbie in the area where we live. Um, but it does need to be that new square tag for me personally. Um, and then in their material tag, they always have their style number. Um, I definitely make use of that. I look up and um, I looked that up before uh, I go ahead and purchase just to see if it's something that's so totally saturated, overly saturated, and I don't want to pick up, or if it's actually doing well and there's not a ton of them. So, okay, that was it. Wait, wait. Nope, I have a couple more. Yeah, sure. But I was just going to say on Macari, though, what you do too is um, she doesn't offer free shipping anymore. Oh, yeah. Right. Correct. You yep. have them pay for shipping yep. too. So that helps with your profit too. So yeah, something yep. to keep in mind. So when, yep. So when I first started, I, you know, I tried to do that and yeah, it didn't, I didn't really feel like it worked for me that well. I, when I switched over, I don't feel like my sales like ended. Um, they've just never been that strong on there. So yes, that definitely helps. And we even did that on eBay. We started charging mm -hmm. shipping for everything on eBay. Yeah. Even if, it's going to be first class. We still charge $8 basically. Yeah, yeah. Then there's some large, excuse me. There's some larger items that we have calculated shipping too. So you got to factor in shipping if you're selling not on Poshmark basically, yeah. but even on Poshmark yeah, because you can still do free shipping. Started that too. Yeah. But, 
But yeah, um, okay, so my next item that sold was this Men's Spanked Zone Performance it was, um, shirt. It was listed at $40. I had just sold a white one um, for $35. Uh, no problem, but I did get a $20 offer, and so I countered probably at $30, um, and then they came back at $25. I had $554 into it, and it's a little bit lower of a profit margin for me. Um, I would have I would have liked to get you know $35, but at the end of the day, um, I'm not a storage unit, so I <laughs> took took the offer. Um, I still made $14.46 on it. Our neighbors may say otherwise. Though. Yeah, I'm sure they are wondering what where the all of this stuff goes. Yeah. Um, my next item is another item that I just took an offer on. Um, these are the AG, the Bobby Wide Leg Crop jeans. They are they were selling for around the fifty dollar mark. I had them listed at fifty dollars. I didn't have them listed very long. I had them listed less than a month. I I essentially would have liked a forty dollar offer that would have made me a little happier but they again offered me 20 I countered they came back at 25 I had three dollars and 49 cents into it so it's not like I have a reason to like need this higher number just because I it's hard when you like see other ones selling on the comps when you check them and you're like but they got it yeah. um but at the end of the day like I get my money back I make some money um I made a profit of 16 dollars and 51 cents on them and it's my money now all right, was this, oh, okay, one last sale. Um, it is a Poshmark sale. It is Maurice's Everflux High Rise in a two extra long. These I have had since December of 2020. Um, so I, I don't pick up Maurice's. I'm probably not gonna pick <laughs> it up again. Um, I picked these up though at a Play-Doh's 90% um, clearance sale. And that is my favorite place to try new um, brands, new styles. Um, because I paid a dollar fifty for these, so even though I did have them for a long time, it was a really cheap way for me to learn. Eh, probably not a good idea to pick them up when I'm spending five dollars at the thrift store. Um, so for me, this is still a good lesson. Um, I had them listed at twenty five dollars. Someone offered me uh, sixteen dollars. I still had a profit of eleven dollars and thirty cents. So that eleven dollar profit on a dollar fifty is it's still really good. Um, I just I would like my sales to be my sale price to just be a little bit higher um, so yeah so those are our sales that we were able to bring in and have um, while we were on vacation we didn't have to do anything I guess the other thing that I will just mention is on Posh on Poshmark to help keep things going I did do a little bit of prep work I, um, oh, I yeah. took advantage of their um, listing where you can like list in advance um, so every day I had two to five things going live. Um, I had scheduled that so that we could still be out, you know, not worrying about it. But I was, it still, to Poshmark, it seemed like I was there. And like I had shared, I, um, I still shared my closet once a day just to keep, you know, some things moving, um, things like that. So Yeah, I did the same actually over on eBay too. I created a bunch of drafts and then would just list one or two each day while we were gone. Yeah, just to... Just to keep up something. Yeah. So our totals. Yeah, we feel like have... it. We feel like it worked. I think definitely next time we go away, we're gonna try to just keep everything um, live and um, interact with our our buyers and hopefully make money while we're away. Yeah, that's the <laughs> best part. All right, so the grand total. We had a total of nine hundred and thirty-six dollars in sales. And that left us with a profit of six hundred and eleven dollars. So not too bad for four days or being five, away, yeah. yeah, four days being away. So uh, we're not gonna make it seem like it was a million dollars, but it was definitely something that was that was pretty cool, and we're definitely that about. you should try. We feel like as as long as you can, you know, be frank and honest with your your customers. So thank you guys for sticking around this long. We appreciate it very much. If you wouldn't mind giving us a thumbs down, thumbs up, or if you're going to give it a thumbs down, <laughs> hit the it button twice. twice. <laughs> and then subscribe if you like what we're doing, even though we're not really sure what we're doing over here. So we hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.